good morning, guys. Uh, bright, sunny day in, my goodness, late October. Yep, we're in the late October now. Coming into late October, yep. Yeah, uh, well, you guys are with us here on a morning run. Uh, kind of really happy to say this. Uh, John and I, even actually even before Johnny and I were together, eh? That's right. As yeah. friends, yes, but not as business partners. Uh, Johnny and I, uh, oh, what is it, three and a half years I was mentioning this when I first mentioned uh, it, bro? Pretty much, I'd say four, close About to four. Close to four years? Yes. Okay, with some of the people that we've partnered with, with um, them being somewhat politically connected, that we get information in advance onto various things that are coming in our region around Cabrera. And uh, John says it's closer to four years, but let's just say about three and a half years ago, old Barry started mentioning, and to this date, there is nobody else in the region mentioning it on the internet, YouTube, or anything. So this is years ahead of anybody. Well, we want to show you, We I mentioned that prior to the next election, you are going to see certain roads in certain neighborhoods getting asphalted. And we're taking a back way into an area, and uh, nobody knows him better than old John here. I know where I'm going, but he knows the names of each and every one of these little towns. And I would say it's outside Los Valles, because I know it's next to it, but that's not the real name of the little area. What is it, bud? Los Canilones. Los Canilones. Canilones. Not Camarones, like shrimp. Canilones. John's already asked... Uh, there's no definition in English. There's no definition in it. It's just the name of the neighborhood. So, we can't win from one of our partners yesterday. Came out here. I didn't have any equipment. But we're coming back and where you're with us. Now, we want to take you in a different uh, back way here. Uh, one or two people who we've met might know this way. Um, but uh, we had said this is going to be up and coming and it is going to get asphalted and when it when it does it's going to be oh i'd say raising prices every bit of 15 to 20 percent and all you guys that did end up buying here two years ago three years ago from us i want to congratulate you because uh this is just the beginning we're showing you an area that our partners are actually uh, working on we're coming up uh, just around the bend here that uh, is going to open up some incredible ocean view properties for people and um, we're going to start with this right so maybe John describe a little bit uh, uh, about uh, what's happening up here okay uh, we're going up to uh, one of the areas where our partners um, have some actually two properties going on probably to a third one a third project in the future uh, they've already put in the dry the road going up, um, so it should be accessible uh, within the new future for a normal car to get up and uh, see these properties. Uh, there's a beautiful one up on the left we'll be seeing shortly, and then that will coincide with a phenomenal uh, ocean view piece. And then above that, they've put in a road where they're going to be starting opening up uh, another project in the. Uh, not too distant future. This is very exciting. Uh, first phase one of this area is uh, moving on now. We'll be showing you some other uh, road development uh, on this day. Yeah, right around this, uh, coming up this right turn here, this hairpin up here. Okay, you used to need a 4x4. Four four. Now, this is where they just started. Now, bear in mind, it's just gotten started. We want to get you in on this as early as possible. And some of our past visitors, clients, friends, whatever, uh, might recognize this, okay? Now take a look at, at what's going on here, how wide it's become, how they've already had the machines. This I used to have to go into four-wheel drive, and I'm easily going up this now in a two-wheel drive mode, okay? So all this is being widened up. This is coming eventually into Los Valles. And uh, these properties now have uh, and will be taking a nice hike in price, rightfully deserved. Rounding the corner here, and remember, this was a rugged piece. They just chiseled it all out. They got in a grader roughly to make the first step. All this white caliche, 
Okay, all this stuff is new. Um, we have a property that uh, is about 6,000 meters that we just passed. I'm opening up here just to give you an idea. I'm not going to go up it yet, but we're making an access road for another few properties that are going to be up in this area here. Okay, I want you guys to have a look. So we've already cut and graded into this area. The views up there are stellar. This is very Caribbean style, eh, bud? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Really, really authentic, genuine. It's like you're in the country, you're you're in Cabrera, really, but you're not. It feels like you're miles away and you're, you're close to beaches, you're close to town. But it's just so quiet and peaceful here and picturesque. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, this part here is for those kind of folks that like a natural, don't like house after house in a community. I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm just saying it's a personal choice. This is more for people that like uh, just not to be right next to people but yet to have people an eighth of a mile a quarter of a mile um i'd say what are you bud when this is paved you're 10 15 minutes to cabrera the long way and i'd say about six minutes the fast way. exactly yeah because you've, you've got two main entrances we're going on the path now which when it's paved which should like barry said i'd say between like 12 to 15 minutes the other way probably seven to eight minutes yeah so i'm gonna go a little bit further here and just to catch you guys up, but all this stuff is starting to get roughed out. It's getting cut, graded, and soon this is slated for pavement, correct? Correct. And also the road going into Callejon. Callejon, Pujador. Pujador, Los that's Caco right. Los Cacobas. So uh, this is very exciting and uh, for us it is absolutely and I know it is so once again my my congratulations to you folks that you know it's really funny but um, before closing this thing out here half the people we sold property to what did they say it was so beautiful we don't even give a darn if they ever pave it remember that? exactly yeah now but, look at it <laughs> yeah but I, I sent a couple of uh, to various clients uh, yesterday I sent a couple of uh, what do you call JPEGs off my iPhone when I was here I had to I was so excited about it for them and we got a lot of high fives and a congrats but that's when it started coming out we loved it so much we trusted it would be paved we never really thought so but lo and behold it's gonna be so um, we're going to catch up with you in another section. Uh, we're in Puso Honda. Puso Honda and Pujador and Capilla. Because they're already there with the machines and the trucks. And I'm going to sneak in around there just to give all you guys who follow us on YouTube a little bit more. We don't think there's anybody else that's going to keep you so far advanced in the loop of this region as old Johnny and Barry. Exactly. So I'm going to cut camera and turn around here. And uh, we'll pick it up back at uh, Busa Honda off of Loma Alta. Okay, guys? Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Barry and Johnny out for now. Bye. Bye.